I'm James Yoder, the host of the Michigan Football Report. We've gone over our Michigan Football 2020 recruiting class. Now, let's jump into the six players from the 2020 recruiting class that I see making the biggest impact on the field as true freshmen in 2020. Let's start off with Blake Corum, who I believe will be in the three deep at running back. Might get some opportunities on special teams, but I think we'll get a lot of playing time early on and throughout the 2020 season. He is a undersized running back, but he has game-breaking speed, something that Michigan has long lacked at the running back position. You go back to even the early 2000s, the late 90s with Anthony Thomas, the A-Train. You go into the early 2000s, Chris Perry, who won the Doak Walker Award. None of those guys really had game-breaking speed. Certainly wasn't Mike Hart. And since Mike Hart, you've just had a rotation of running backs for Michigan. None who I felt at any given time could be the fastest player in on the field going against any team, even the fast player on Michigan's team themselves. So Blake Corum is my top choice for an instant impact freshman. I think he'll make the biggest impact next year. And I think he'll potentially be Michigan's biggest big playmaker, the guy who can break off 40 and 50 and 60 yard runs every few games uh, that Michigan has you know, woefully lacked. I mean, you went half the season in 2019 without getting a, a one run over 20 yards from the running back position. So Blake Corum, my top choice for Michigan football 2020 freshman to make a big impact on the field. AJ Henning is my second most impactful freshman on the field in 2020 for the Michigan Wolverines. He's a player who committed last summer, over the summer. Some people say it was a surprise commit, but I think the, the tea leaves are going uh, that in a, in a lot of ways. And I think Josh Gass's offense uh, was the reason that Michigan was able to get him to commit in the first place you know, among a bevy of other suitors who wanted him to come play wide receiver or potentially running back. As you see, he got a lot of playing time at running back in high school. Uh, and the offense that you saw on the field over the last few games, especially getting Giles Jackson and Mike Sainer still uh, towards the end of the year, Ronnie Bell throughout the, the whole season, those guys more plays, more stats, more catches, and you know, play in the return and the, and the running game that is the reason that A.J. Henning will make an impact next year. I believe that's also the reason why he chose Michigan and chose to stick with Michigan in the first place. He's out of the state of Illinois, so certainly could have gone to Notre Dame. Certainly could have gone to a bevy of other programs. So that Michigan and their offense would be the most likely to put him in a position to make big plays and be a, uh, an impact, instant impact player potentially from game one as a true freshman. I want to give you guys this opportunity to grade Michigan's 2020 recruiting class A, B, C, D, or F. You might get an ad break here on YouTube. So if you do, go downstairs, go down below in the comments or the live chat, A, B, C, D, or F for Michigan's 2020 recruiting class. RJ Moten is my recruit, my third highest uh, likely to recruit to make an impact on the field in 2020 for Michigan out of this recruiting class. He's out of New Jersey, the number 205 player in the country, number 18 safety, but I think he's got the right size and speed to make an impact on the field for the Wolverines. I think he's going to be a lot like Daxon Hill, where he'll be on special teams the first three, four, five games of the year, then start getting some serious reps in the secondary once the season kind of goes into the Big Ten, you know, fifth, sixth game throughout the year after he's got his feet wet running Don Brown or maybe another defensive coordinator's uh, scheme in Ann Arbor. Four-star safety, but you see there, which is why compared to some of the other safeties, I thought he has the opportunity to be on the field more, is he is that a heck of an athlete. He played a bunch on offense. It's kind of tough to even find any film of him on defense in high school. I'm sure some senior year film here and there. I was looking through his sophomore year stuff, his junior year stuff. It's almost all on offense. He's the best athlete I believe Michigan has coming in on defense. And as such, that's what Michigan needs to be able to compete with Penn State and certainly with Ohio State. So RJ Moten, my third highest likely freshman to make an impact in the field in 2020. The Michigan football Nike shoes are on sale, folks. Chatsports.com slash blue shoes. We make it easy for you. Uh, go to the, the link right now. We'll put it in the live chat. And if you're watching this on demand later, it'll be below in the comments. Chatsports.com slash blue shoes. $30 off right now. Only $99.99. You can get this for yourself. Get this for a loved one for Christmas. 
you will not regret it. You'll win the uh, the Christmas holiday season. All kinds of Michigan gear. You got the Harbaugh game day hoodie, this Michigan woman's fleece. You've got that cool Jordan skinny M1 that Harbaugh wore his first couple years in Michigan. All on sale right now. Hats, jerseys on sale for 75 bucks. The Nike ones. Chatsports.com slash blue. All the sale items going on right now. Michigan football for the holiday season. Makari Page is my next recruit that is most likely to make an impact on the field for the Wolverines in 2020. Now, not the highest rated player he's got coming, we've got coming in at his position. And at 6'3, 182, maybe he's oversized for the position. But from watching his film, reading interviews with him, seeing what he can do on the field, and when you see kind of the ball skills, that's what she says. That, that he has uh, and, and keeping up with uh, with fast receivers. I think he's going to be one that Michigan is going to rely on when it comes to going up against teams that run four and five wide receiver offensive sets or teams that have very high rated athletic tight ends that can uh, go down the field that have in the past taken advantage of Josh Metellus or Brandon Watson or other players throughout the last four or five years and potentially even eternity. Uh, when it comes to playing teams that know how to throw the ball. So his athleticism and his size, good combination to get in the secondary. Reminds me a lot of Brad Hawkins, uh, you know, maybe a little bit taller, skinnier than Brad Hawkins, but kind of the same mold from what I've seen. I'm sure other people have different opinions on what they make of Macari Page, but I believe Macari Page will make an impact on the field in 2024 Michigan football. Andre Seldon, the man, if you go out there somewhere on Twitter, I tweeted out a week ago, that shut down um, Ohio State's, what's the guy's name, Julian Fleming, their top recruit, uh, number two player in the country in a camp uh, this past summer. Small guy, five foot eight. He is going to have to use athleticism and, uh, I guess, intelligence to be able to shut down a player like Fleming in the college game who's got six inches of, uh, of height and probably 25 pounds on him. But Andre Seldon's athleticism is his best attribute. If he was 5'11", I think he'd have been a top 60, top 50 player in the country, potentially even on the cusp of, uh, of being a five-star for the Michigan Wolverines football team. So out of the state of Michigan, number 16 cornerback in the country. Nothing told me about Michigan's team in 2020 that they had – confidence in the freshman and the redshirt freshman in the secondary outside of Vincent Gray from the cornerback position outside of Vincent Gray that tells me that a cornerback won't be in the two deep from this 2020 class from all I'm seeing from these players it's clearly for me going to be Andre Seldon so I think he'll be on the field from potentially game one when Michigan gets into a nickel and dime packages so keep an eye out for Andre Seldon in the field for the Wolverines in 2020. Citrus Bowl is upon us folks little over two weeks away, right around two weeks away. Two weeks from today, exactly. Man, we're good, at least when we're filming this show. Uh, January 1st, 1 p.m., ABC is where you can watch it on television. Or if you're going to the game, I'm sure there's a bar around there that you can go to in the third quarter to drink your sorrows away when Alabama is up by 40 points. Just kidding, guys. Michigan's going to win. But predict the score below. Citrus Bowl, Michigan versus Alabama. Michigan's only position group that I think they've got a distinct advantage is going to be quarterback. So could Shea Patterson be the difference over an inexperienced Mac Jones, who, oh, by the way, did put up 40-plus on a very stout Auburn defense a couple weeks ago. So maybe he's not a three-star like some people think he is. But predict your score in the comments or in the, in the live chat or the comments section below. Let's take a look at Jordan Morant. Out of Bergen Catholic in New Jersey, a school Michigan's got a lot of players from in recent years. Another safety you're going to see on this list. James, it's a lot of safeties uh, on your top players to commit to Michigan. I didn't do the ad break, didn't I? Son of a gun. Well, Jordan Brandt, uh, we're trying something new with saying the show, guys. The producers are in my ear yelling at me, whatever it is. Safety Jordan Brandt, four-star player out of Bergen Catholic, number 163 number 14 safety in the country. Another player from the safety position, and really the secondary in general, that Michigan is focused on to increase athleticism, increase speed, and increase their ability to defend the offense that Ohio State, and potentially others if Michigan's lucky enough to ever break into the college football playoff, offenses like Oklahoma, Alabama have put on the field where they take advantage 
of the entire 53 yards across the field and the 100 yards uh, you know, down the field is those offenses want to take advantage of space. They want to take advantage of athleticism. And if Michigan is running the same kind of, of defense they've run under Don Brown with the same kind of athletes, they will be continually get burned, give up 50-plus points whenever they face a national championship caliber offense. So Blake Corum, A.J. Henning, R.J. Moten were the two of the first three players we talked about on this list. Also got Makari Page, Andre Selden, and Jordan Morant. But I want to ask you guys, which 2020 recruit will have the biggest impact next season? Think about 2019, a lot of freshmen had a bigger impact than I think some of you guys thought. Obviously, Zach Charbonnet, but Mike Sainer still, Giles Jackson, Cornelius Johnson certainly did, Daxon Hill. A lot of true freshmen made a big impact. Quite a few of those guys are going to be starters next year in 2020. So answer the question below in the comments or right now in the live chat. Which 2020 recruit will have the biggest impact next season? Hit the rap horn. i got a deal for you. Deal alert. If you missed it earlier, I want to make sure we reminded you guys. Mish Girl 96 took advantage of this bad boy. $75 for the Michigan Jordan brand jersey. Number four, like Nico Collins and... James Harbaugh wore back in the 80s. Number four, only $74.99. Go to chatsports.com slash blue four. Chatsports.com slash blue four. Also, you'll find hats, t-shirts, hoodies, shoes, up to 50% off. And it's not the cheap Walmart stuff, guys. A ton of Nike gear, ton of Jordan gear. Chatsports.com slash blue. Don't wait. Christmas is a week away. Don't wait. Get one right now. Choose the option so shipping will arrive by December 24th.